Okay, let's see if this works. Holy crap, it worked. What? I can't believe it worked. What? I made a portal. I, I can see that. Um, quick question. Hey, pass me a soda. Why? Um, cause I'm thirsty. No, I mean, why did you create a portal? Because I'm thirsty. So you created a portal? Yes. To the living room? Yes. Which is only 10 feet away. Uh... Okay, bad news first. If you're afraid of fusion, like I was when I first started working in DaVinci Resolve, you're going to have to face some fears in order to create the portal effect that you saw in the sketch at the beginning of this video. Good news though, it's actually really not that difficult. But before we take a look at how to make the portal effect, there are two effects in that sketch that I didn't make myself. One was the progress bar in the beginning, and the other was the handheld effect. Now, I could have made those on my own, but I was in a bit of a time crunch, which happens a lot. That's why I love today's sponsor, Motion Array. Motion Array has a huge library of effects, project templates, presets, plugins, basically, anything that you might need to create your videos faster. And they don't just have stuff for DaVinci Resolve either. They've got assets for Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Final Cut as well. Motion Array also has tools that will help you take your professional video career to the next level, like a portfolio builder. That's right you can build your own website and a super powerful collaboration and review tool that you can connect to your own domain. So if you want a one-stop shop to increase the quality of both your videos and your video business, click the link in the description of this video and check out Motion Array today. In order to create this portal effect, you'll need two pieces of footage. One will act as the main scene and the other will be what is seen inside the portal. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this effect. One has you masking out the inside of the main scene and the other has you masking out the outside of the footage that will be seen inside the portal. For this video, we'll be doing it the first way. The first step is to create a fusion clip. So in the edit page, place the footage that will be inside the portal on video track one and the main scene footage on video track two. Then highlight both of the clips, right click and choose new fusion clip then head to the edit page. The first step is to mask out the part of the main footage where the portal will be. To do this, select your media in two node, which is your main footage, and add an ellipse mask from the toolbar. Then select your ellipse node and in the inspector, select invert. From there, you can resize your mask to make it look however you want. And by the way, you don't have to use an ellipse mask. This will work with the rectangle, polygon, and B-spline masks as well. Next, we need to add the energy element around the outside of the portal. To do this, we'll first add a fast noise node to our node graph and merge it over our merge one node. Then copy your ellipse node and hit control shift V on your keyboard to create an instance node. Then select your instance node and connect to the mask input of your fast noise node. An instance node is a copy of a node whose settings are linked to the original. So if you change something in one, it will also change in the other. It can be a real time saver. And in this case, it helps make sure that all of our masks all have the same shape, size, and position. Now, all that being said, we don't want all of our settings to be exactly the same in this particular effect. Specifically, we want the mask on our fast noise to just be a border instead of a solid. So in your instance node, right click on solid, select D instance, and then uncheck the solid checkbox. Then do the same with invert. Now, you might notice that right now we can't see our fast noise anywhere. That's because we've masked it out using a border, but our border doesn't really exist yet. To fix this on your instance node, increase the border width slightly. Quick pro tip, if you want to be able to move in smaller increments in the inspector, hold down control while you click and drag over the numbers. You're welcome. Now we can see our fast noise, but it looks kind of horrible. So we'll adjust our soft edge to make it look a little more natural. Well, 
as natural as a sci-fi portal can look, at least. Next, it's time to adjust the look of our fast noise. There are no rules here, just adjust the contrast, scale, details, and colors until it looks the way you want it to look. Then you can adjust the seethe and seethe rate to adjust the movement of the fast noise. Next, we're gonna add a little texture to our portal to make it look like it's actually part of the scene. To do this, select your Merge 2 node, hit Shift Space on your keyboard, and search for Displace, then select the displace effect and click add. Then create an instance node of your fast noise, connect it to the foreground input of your displace and connect your instance ellipse node to the mask input of your instance fast noise. Quick fun fact about displace. It works best when you use middle gray to map out the displacement. So select your fast noise node and in the color tab in the inspector, de-instance your color one and color two groups. Then in the color one group, click on the color bar and change the red, green, and blue values to 80. Then click on the color two bar and change that to white. From there, click on your displace node and adjust your refraction strength, light power, light angle, and spread until you have the look that you're going for. And when you're all said and done, you'll have something like this. Holy crap, it worked. But that's it for me. As always, let me know in the comments what effects you'd like to see me try on this channel. Then go check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.